Welcome back to Medicine Made Easy with me, Kavya Chandran. Now, we will be discussing a very important topic in microbiology under bacteriology, which is gram positive corticoid classification. This video is important to remember where the bacteria are actually present and how one bacteria is different from the other bacteria. Because as we are learning microbiology, the most important point we are going to learn is the lab diagnosis. To know the lab diagnosis, we must be knowing the classification so that the lab diagnosis are made really very simple and in this video that is what we are going to see before that if you have not subscribed to our channel do subscribe for more interesting videos like this and as well press the bell icon so that you visit regular video updates and i have made this video with simple ideas and mnemonics to remember if it was be obviously useful to you you can share to your friends we'll all learn together without further delay let us now go classify the gram positive cocci under classification of gram positive cocci, the first test what I'm going to do is catalase test. So remember, this is a big uh, confusing topic, right? Gram positive cocci is a big thing and confusing thing. There are many other bacteria. So um, whatever we are going to start, right? Uh, we, we usually have a catalog, yeah. So the catalog is where the entire thing is put into a simple uh, outline or alphabetic life or whatever. So it starts with catalog. So likewise, here the test is going to start with catalase. Okay, so the test is catalase test. If at all the catalase test turn to be positive, it is called as micrococcyceae family. If it is turned to be negative, it is called as streptococcyceae family. So now how to remember this catalase is positive in micrococcyceae is, see it is micro and here is strepto. So see, in micro we have C, but in strepto we don't have C. It means what? Catalase test is positive in micrococcyceae. It is negative in streptococcyceae. Done. So now, this micrococcyceae are basically going to be arranged in, uh, arrange in like tetraeds or clusters. Whereas in streptococcyceae, they are going to arrange in like a step. See, strep, step. So like steps, Madri. So step means what? It is like in chains or pairs. But why at all this difference is present? Remember, it is all by the division. When the bacteria is going to divide, they are going to divide in such a plane that Streptococcus are arranged into like um, like steps, like chains, whereas in micrococcyceae they are arranged in terms of tetrads or clusters. Now let us complete the uh, micrococcyceae. Basically, ma now micrococcyceae we know it is catalase positive. That is a family, and uh, this micrococcyceae is further classified by OF test, Hugh and Leibniz OF test. That is oxidative fermentation test. If this test uh, gives a oxidative pattern, it becomes a micrococcus. Genera, if it gives a fermentative pattern, it gives staphylococcus. The moment we are remembering staphylococcus, which fruit is coming? Grapes, right? So we know grapes is fermented. So remember that way also. So staphylococcus is showing fermentative pattern, whereas micrococcus is showing oxidative pattern. Now coming to staphylococcus. Staphylococcus, uh, we are going classifying the staphylococcus into another test called coagulase test. Now remember, whenever the, uh, we take a grapes, we ferment it, we see small, small clumps. No, there's some coag clumps is present when it is on the process of fermentation. Again, remember this staphylococcus, we are going to classify by next test called coagulase test. This coagulase test is going to be positive or negative. And based on that, we are going to say coagulase positive staphylococcus and coagulase negative staphylococcus. This coagulase positive staphylococcus is staphylococcus aureus. And coagulase negative staphylococcus are number of things which is present. Now, to know which are all is coagulase negative staphylococcus, we do another test called phosphatase. This we have done even in biochemistry. Did you remember in biochemistry, when you are doing a urine in uh, heat coagulation test, what we do? We take the urine, we heat it, there will be coagulum formation. And uh, the moment we are going to add acetic acid, what happens? That the coagulum will disappear because it has phosphates. Correct. So remember, next, uh, the thing I am going to make you remember is coagulase test and phosphatase. So after co uh, coagulase test turns out to be negative for a staphylococcus, what you need to do is a phosphatase test. And in the phosphatase test, if it is going to be positive, yes, it is called staphylococcus epidermidis. If it is turning a bit negative, there are other organisms, but important organisms are staphylococcus saprophyticus and staphylococcus lactogenesis. Done? Okay. Now coming to the another classification of staphylococcus that is by the pigment. 
pigment production staphylococcus aureus produce golden yellow color colonies staphylococcus albus now, alba means white so white colonies staphylococcus citrus that is lemon citrus lemon so lemon yellow colonies and as simple as that now let us uh, see the important points regarding the coagulase negative staphylococcus this coagulase negative staphylococcus first is staphylococcus epidermatitis which is phosphatase test positive very simple remember epidermatitis will uh, form a biofilm because it is an, it has a characteristic of uh, forming a slime layer that in turn forms a biofilm which is forming on where if film is going to form there should be some area to form that is on the prosthetic wall and prosthetic devices it is going to form and it is one organism which is known to cause stitch abscess so when you are taking the stitches um, for um, managing the wound that time it can result in a complication that is stitch abscess staphylococcus epidermidis next coming to saprophyticus the moment you need to remember saprophyticus just remember it is a uroepitheliotropic it means it is going to cause uti in uh, sexually active young female okay this is saprophyticus and uh, uh, another important point is it is going to show resistance to novobiosin disc that is nearly 5 microgram novobiosin disc it is going to show resistance this is the feature to say it is saprophyticus next at last is staphylococcus lugdensis it is lactase positive and clump factor is positive now there is actually a uh, combination that is a uh, clumping factor is present in staphylococcus aureus and clumping factor is also also present in staphylococcus lugdensis how to remember simple see clumping so c for coagulase positive organism that is staphylococcus aureus and lump l u l u so lugdensis these two organisms has clumping factor this is an idea to remember so with this we are completing the classification on staphylococcus let us continue the classification of streptococcus in next video till then stay tuned bye bye